2,200 ELO. Uh, I think when I last looked, he was about rank 6 or something. But that's like 2,200 ELO is basically what? Uh, it's, it's at the it's easy top 10. It's probably around like what? Top 5, top 6 now. Um, so yeah, this guy, I think is mini malt, but literally exclusively playing Dutch. Um, obviously has a bone to pick with people who uh, call Dutch a uh, bad civilization. <laughs> I don't think Dutch are a bad civilization. I just don't think they're an uh, overly strong one. But in the right hands, they're certainly capable. And uh, if this guy's ELO is to go anything about that, it's proof in the pudding right there. Nice uh, 75 wood here. Also picked up a colonial swashbuckler. He's going to be... Uh, swashing some buckles or buckling some swashers. Hey. Okay. Uh, Pluff Pluff. Uh, Osteo's gone back to his, like, one of his OG names, has he? He's decided to uh, stop the troll now with, uh, for some reason, I, I, I actually think he might have, like, fancied Ost um, consensus. Like, I think he, like, might have, um, might have had a, a a thing for consensus because he kept changing his name to weird things about him. So um, um I mean just declare your love for the guy, you know. You, you know, don't don't change have to change your name over Age of Empires 3. But it looks like we're seeing some pretty standard play here. Somehow has managed to pick up a third canter house. Have a quick look at his uh Bob Enjoy getting 25 wood there. Uh Bluff Puff. Okay, Put it this way. Puff Puffy got 75 wood. 20 coins. So, yeah, he only got 75 wood. So it looks like he um he's chopped for an extra canter house here. Interesting. Is that what your ancestors looked like, Jaeger? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Picking up some XP. This should mean he's going to age up quite late, but I mean, having the extra cantra is going to be basically an extra villager um, on food. Okay, Bob and Joya, a glimpse of Usi's Tutsu. Tutu's golden stool. Golden stool? That's disgusting! Uh, anyways. Oh, that type of stool. Okay, okay. Uh, let's have a look at decks then. Not much to say right now. Land 1v1. That's his classic deck. Uh, yeah, two town centers is an age free card for this Civ because fucking why not? Um, outside of that, nothing too out of the ordinary. It has that um, canter house that produces wood. Let's go have a look at Bob Enjoyer. Again, I think we're going to see some pretty standard stuff from him. The game's a bit jumpy, like I'm my frame rate or something's happening. Like you can see here, it's a very, very jumpy. Um, hopefully that improves. Um, yeah, look, the game is very jumpy, which is uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, Bob and Joy are just playing standard here as well. Looks at his deck. Uh, one. Has seven. Has eight halberdiers as well. Uh, does have advanced artillery, so... Good to see that. I'm glad to see that. I, I, that. I think that's got to be a card that like every time you play Osteo, particularly his Inca, like you have to have advanced Arsenal, right? Like advanced Arsenal is so important. Um, like there's there's some civs which would benefit, like Otto and Spain. Imagine having advanced Arsenal with them. Like that's that could be quite scary. Um, but I think people are people people will underestimate what uh, just like in age three shipping one mortar does. Um, just just shipping one mortar, like because of the range of mortars, it will force your opponent to have to push out. So rather than two foul connects where it can be quite easy to do a villager pull, to do like uh, a TC pop of units, Minutemen, all that good stuff, having a mortar do it from really far back and with the line of sight that a mortar gives, it means you your opponent has to come out of his TC to do something. So you're, you're kind of in a safe zone. So I think our advanced artillery is honestly a really good card now. And I think we should definitely start to see some more people use it because, because of how much, because of how good it is now. 
Okay, another colonial gunslinger here. So no swashbuckler. He's a gunslinger. I think a gunslinger is a much better suited name for like an American type outlaw as opposed to a kind of an English explorer one. That is a very rusty sword that that guy has. Anywho. All right, we've got some, uh, we've got classic uh, <laughs> osteo, um, big button kind of Minutemen TC pop here. Uh, he's in his base uh, about five minutes, which is uh, pretty good. Um, doesn't know that Bob and Joy is able to do Minutemen here. And uh, I think these pike were, I think these plume spearmen were sieging this uh, whilst it was still in its foundation. So to be able to just rock up and do that is pretty scary. And it's looking like it will go down. Osteo wants to get there. Yeah, look, this Explorer's got 70, 695 HP. It's got 22 Siege itself, which is uh, about half of a Pikeman. No, about three, two thirds of a Pikeman. So even if he manages to kill these Pike Plume Spearmen, this, this guy will be able to finish it off. He takes a bank down with his Minutemen. With his Minutemen. This is like a top five player right now. He's like top five on the ladder. And this guy manages to take his bank down with the big button plumed spearman. If, if, if you needed ever needed to hate this sieve any more than you already do, here's another reason. It's it's um one of the weaknesses to this as well is you, you uh Inca are very rushable. He's gonna take a villager down now as well. This Civ is definitely rushable, but the way he plays it by having the fast age up and then being able to ship Minutemen as soon as he ages up denies any forward base or fast barracks, anything like that. So he, he gets around his weakness by having the fast age up into the big button plume spearman. It's so infuriating to deal with uh, because you can't rush. In that essence, in that sense, you can't rush. And he, he stops it and he knows it because he plays super greedy. Um, super annoying like this. And it's just, yeah, it's just really, really frustrating to deal with. So I think this, uh, the, the clipping that the screen is doing um, is going to unfortunately stay, which is uh, really annoying, but it is what it is. So Bob Enjoyer is on three banks. Should be four. Should be four banks right now. Oh my God, he loses another villager. And these plume spearmen are still alive. These plume spearmen are still alive. The war chief mechanics, so Inca pretty strong. Inca, see, people say USA, USA are um, the best civ in the game, but I don't know. Like, I'll always like. I just think there's something about Inca, which I just think that just they always have been kind of the best civ in the game. You know, um, I don't know. Okay, another bank going down. So essentially, both these guys playing quite similar, quite turtly. One going for canchers, one going for banks. A little bit of raiding here and there. No, this this clipping is really annoying. I don't know why it's happening. Oh wow, look at that! Getting a Yoruba TP, a very very sneaky deaky one. Right next to his TC. Yoruba are scary, by the way. Yoruba Cav is, are really, really scary. Um, but not only not only is this just a normal TP, obviously uh, the uh, Tambos uh, TPs for Inca act as like an outpost uh, or a shipment point. Again, just because why not? Just another fundamental of uh, that civilization, which is kind of broken. Eight Pikemen coming in. Yeah. It looks like it's moving in slow mo, but I don't think it is. Yeah. This clipping is super annoying. I'm not sure how to fix it either. Does anyone know why it's clipping like this? It's actually really jarring. Wow, Pluff Pluff's actually up in score. Osteo is up in score already. That's super scary. 
Okay, Hus coming out now as well. So he's sticking to his guns in H2 here. This is this is the scary comp though. That is such a scary comp right there. Um, just mixing in Plume Spearman and Chimu Riders is just so difficult. Like late game as well, it's so difficult to deal with. More Chimus coming in. Now Bob and Joy is going to have to have some insane micro to make sure he's pick, picking off the Plume Spearman here. The Pipemen just need to dive in as well, do damage to the Chimus. Hazard's going to do some work as well. Looks like he's going to clean up very nicely though. Played that pretty perfectly. The Tambo is going to do some damage as well. Could have actually taken all his units inside the Tambo, I think. I think you can do that. I know you can do it with villagers, but... I don't know how many units you can hide in there, though. Yeah. Chimu Runner's doing work. Chimu Runner's trading well with Hazars because they just do. Legionaries. Interesting. Really, really good uh, unit that is. The, the very expensive, though, the Uruba Legionary. Um, yeah, look, it's 90 food. It's basically as much as a cavalry unit. Um, but it's a very, very... It's got like 16 range. It's kind of it's kind of like a musketeer, but with 16 range. Dutch still has uh, some livestock here. Which is starting to look quite juicy. Gonna be going for the age up as well. Hello, how Tucker? <sighs> okay, really wants the Aruba for some reason. Go have a look at Pluff Pluff. He's doing, of course, he's not aging up. Somehow, all of a sudden, 3k score down. Going for this mixed bag of uh, anti cab and cavalry unit. I really hope we get to see advanced artillery here. I, I really would like to see advanced artillery here. Wow, look at this. Oh, he doesn't notice that quickly. Oh my god, Chimu Runners just throws the Chimu Runners away. Bazaar's going to be picking up a villager of their own. I'm going to get stuck in there. Oh my goodness me. Such an insane unit, man. Even after the nurse. Age 3 is in for Bob and Joy, though. He's still 3k score up. Looks like he might might be going for the age up himself now. He's on max canchers. Chincha Brewing is in. So he's got all the eco stuff he needs. No one going for TPs yet. What's Bob and Joy deciding to do here? Okay, going for halberdiers. That's a that's a definitely the right option. I mean, he literally he only has one military building as well. Oh, he, so no, he has two, but. Um, yeah, Habit is, Habit is really good here. Not only uh, is it probably better versus this, like, uh, Chimu and Pikeman mix, because you just shove them in there without having to kite, and they protect it. They kind of act as a meat shield and a body block. Uh, they're really good for siege as well, which is one thing you definitely need versus Inca. You need a lot of siege to take care of these cancer houses. But look at this. Just, again, just raiding with this mixed bag of party. Look, he's even mixing in jungle bowman he literally just makes every type of unit bungs them together and goes raiding with them like the guy is like this guy this guy we talked about karim and pariah in the last games coming from the same school of thought like they they came from the same gulag this this guy osteo runs that gulag he he's the headmaster of that gulag he built the goddamn school Okay, and this is why going halberdiers is nice here. He's mixing in some halberdiers. And halberdiers, yeah, they'll smash jungle bowmen 
in melee. They'll absolutely destroy Boom Spearman as well. So nice take there. Funny tonight. <laughs> What's up, Spanky? Okay, picks up. Erdheim Chester. Okay. Skirmish is coming in now. Making more halberdiers and hus. I like this. So basically going... Oh, is that the fort? Is that the fort? Can he take the fort down? No, oh, the skirmishes aren't going to be there in time. But I think once he cleans up here, the halberdiers should be able to get on there. That The fort does build quite quickly. Have to bear that in mind. And the halberdiers need to get there. Almost half HP. The Hazards have decent decent siege attack as well. No, oh, he needs all of you need all of your halberdiers on here, bruh. I think he's gonna get up in time just about. Yeah, it's definitely gonna go up. And now that's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, decides to back up. Fine. Plus loses, uh, I think, uh, about three Kancha houses there. Four war huts up right now. Yes, this is exactly how you have to play versus him. Look, he sees it so quickly as well. How does he see it so fast every single time? I swear the guy uses map packs. <laughs> I swear the guy uses a map pack. <laughs> He's just too good. He's too good at his craft. There comes that 2TC uh, wagon. Ba like, it has to be, like, arguably the most OP shipment in the game because, it, because, it's, because it's double a normal H3 shipment, right? Like you think about other other, it's only one TC wagon with a with a with a Euro sieve, but this sieve it gets double that. It gets two TC wagons. So insane, so insane. Like surely they've got you've got to give that a value. Like that's got to be like a 500 uh, wood tag on that. Like that's so insane. How does that not have any cost to ship that card? It's an H4 shipment. It feels like it's being played quite slow, but that's definitely slow mode. I think it's just because it's a bit laggy. Another Tambo going down over there. I'm not sure what the Yoruba is for. You see here, he's going very little skirmishes. He's not actually making that many skirmishes at all. Just going very heavy um, cavalry and halberdier. 44 vils. Got, uh, he's increasing his canches. He's up to eight canches now. And 45 vils. Once we take a look at Bob Enjoyer. Here it comes, advanced artillery. Let's go. He is up to five banks. He's on still on five banks now. Uh, after losing that bank at the start. And he's on 36 bills. So Ecos are quite close. Ecos are, especially with Chincha Brewing in, like Ecos are quite close. I think Dutch have it because of the banks, but when Max Cantor's come in, and now that there's three TCs as well, oh, it's going to get scary. It's going to start to get scary. Yeah, there's not a lot protecting this outside of the TCs, so just diving in here is really nice. More war huts going down. Running away. I don't know what he's too afraid of him. Ah, that's what he's afraid of. <laughs> and yeah, I think sending a few cav back here is definitely the right option. Look at that. In comes that mortar, baby. And that's all he needs to wait for now, right? Just wait for that mortar to come in. Let that do the damage for you.
Bobby Joy is going to clean up here. God. Okay, nice clean up there. Does have Swiss Pikes. Swiss Pikes would be really, really good uh, this game. I just think Swiss Pikes is very good against this civilization as it is. Okay, there goes that mortar. And this is what I was Come talking on, about. Look at the range of this thing. 30 range. Uh, sorry, no, it's 40 range, right? Yeah, 40 range, not 30. That wouldn't be that good. <laughs> Yoruba herbalism. Interesting. What does Yoruba herbalism do? I guess it's just like an eco card, an eco tech. And yeah, look, nothing's popping out on top of his units or stuff like that. You can literally just protect this mortar and, and he is forced to come to him. Okay, nice cavalry combat coming in now. Claire. Oh, it's a berries upgrade. Okay. 0.67 food. It is a bit painful. It does take a while. So with just the one, it does take a while. But it's better than nothing. It's better than diving in and losing your units. Lots of stuff all the way over here. See, this is the thing, like with how long it takes to kill all of this stuff, like to siege all this stuff down. Like it's just gonna give it's just gonna give Osteo so much time to like play around and do what he wants. That's some teamwork right there. <laughs> I love how the animation is different as well. Okay, Pipeman running around. Some Hazards finally going to raid over the side of the map. 5k score difference right now. Going down for another barracks. Cavalry Karas coming in. Cavalry Combat's in now as well. So these Hazards are going to be pretty scary. There they are. 464 HP and 40 hand attack. Some nice raiding going on there. Picking off a few villagers. Just being super annoying with free cap. And Mortar's finally going to take down two TCs. Do you see what I mean? Like, he hasn't been able to push. That Mortar has, has taken down two TCs, which is pretty good. And it's just forced his opponent. I mean, he, he he hasn't been able to approach. He doesn't know how to approach right now. Yes, it's buying him, buying him a lot of time, but this mortar is doing work. And so when he does finally have to push in, it's gonna be on it's gonna be on Bob and Joy's terms, not on not on Osteo's terms. And that's exactly what I keep talking about, why it's so important. Forcing the fight to come to him. Okay, Ostia's making some bonus warriors. Not something you see every day uh, from Ostia. I, I can't remember the last time I saw Ostia make bonus warriors. That's so, such a bizarre unit for him to make. Usually, he literally just goes pure plume, uh, plume spearmen um, and uh, chimus with a few bows added in for good measure. Still has access to Minutemen here. Climb. To, side. to use TC fire to deal with them instead. Going up to age four now. I missed that. Very, very nice. Team infantry hit points coming in as well. Interesting. That's going to be good for uh, the skirmy wormies and the halberdieries. Halberdiers have 32 hand attack and 250 HP. Pretty tanky. Just slow playing this out. Nothing too exciting right now. The scores are staying sort of the same. Just slow playing this out. There's more to doing work. 
Luke is taking down two TCs, countless catches here now. Now he's going for the third TC. Uh, TC. All whilst aging up. Uh, aging up with a logistician. What does a... Uh, he's aging up with a logistician into age four. Uh, can't remember. I'm not really sure what that does. Someone in chat tell me what that gives you. Something to do with mercenaries, maybe? Can't remember. And uh, those bloom spearmen did work to that bank. Okay. How it is once again. Coming in. Dutch keeping everything tight here. Dutch keeping everything tight. All of his villagers' ecos are quite relatively close to his main army here. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. I mean, he's got two kind of main armies here, and this is exactly what he does. Just when you think, you know, taking a few units to protect the bills, he'll just run his entire army to your eco. Because that's the type of C-U-N-T he is. And look at this. And uh, now his mortar is just going to be there for the taking, unfortunately. He's aged up as well, and it couldn't have come at a worse time. Not going to be able to get any of his guard techs in. Oh, no. I have no idea what's going to happen here. The Hazars are running around each other. They're not where they want to be fighting. Halberdiers are doing work, though. Bolus Warriors, they're terrible in melee, so you want to get right in front of their faces. I think Bob and Joy is going to clean this up, but at what cost? Quite a heavy one. Still a decent amount of hazards. I don't know, actually. It might not be a cleanup. Still a few bonus warriors there. Some plume spearmen as well. Bob and Joy are not like this. Somehow on, managed to keep his mortar alive, though. Hey, nice. More hazards coming in. And those hazards are very, very heavily teched right now. Oh, no. Whilst all of that's going on, he's going to be able to sneak in. Killing that bank. I don't know if that bank was getting repaired. Oh, no. 700 resources. Okay, Fort Calio. Uh, I don't think he shipped that fort, so I guess that's what the decision ages up with. I presume? Yeah, he doesn't have a fort in his deck, so the age up gives him a fort. Um, he sees it, though, so that could be a problem. The m okay, that's risky. Does he have any halberdiers? He doesn't. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look at that migra of the mortar. Brilliant. Oh, no. He sees the fort. Of course he does. Oh, no. Where's his cavalry as well? His cavalry are running at the other side of the map. No. Bob and Joya. See it early. See it. He does. The Plume Spearmen are going to start sieging it. These guys have 49 siege. Oh, hi -ya. 49 siege. Jesus Christ. Now he's raiding with pikemen. Now, this is where this is where it gets turned up. The toxicity gets turned up to 10. Now he's making double sets of anti-cab, Reuters, and halberdiers. And even though, that more, even though that mortar did so much work, it didn't matter in the end. Sieging another bank down now. Factory just come in. The scores are... He's further and further away. He's pulling further away, though. Bob, enjoy it. Especially now that that factory's down. He's gonna, he should be able to pull even further away. So that mortar did do work. Yeah, Robot's saying you can't tell when this guy isn't map hacking. Uh, yeah, I mean... It, it does feel like he does. Like some of his reactions does feel like it, but it's not conclusive, is it? Oh, cavalry running into pikemen. <laughs> it's just all he does. Mm. 
Lichtungkeier. Look at this. Throws his units away, but it doesn't matter because as long as he kills a villager or two. He's on to he's on 75 bills now. He's back up to three TCs. Built a couple of extra TCs I didn't even see. Struggling for food, but what what does it matter? Look how much food production is coming in. Purely from Tanchers. Look at it go! Look at that go! It does have guard hazards now. Look at how beautiful these guys are. Their little gold trim. Osteo still in age three. What does Dutch do here? Like honestly, I I feel like you just you have to go heavy cannons. Like, like heavy cannons, like just dicks on so many of Inca's units. Even Hurricas have a hard time dealing with mass heavy cannons. Maybe like you want to try and aim here to go uh, South Africa as well. I always feel like going to South Africa is always worth it. Like even if it's just for the Trek wagons, like the Trek wagon spam is like even that's difficult to deal with. Still 5k up though. Oh no, he sees the, he sees, no, he sees the factory wagon. No, Bob and Joy are not like this. Oh, woo. oh, he tries to get in front. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. That was close. And look at this. The toxic just begets more toxic. Monumental architecture coming in. Oh, oh. Look at these guys. 6,500 HP to what is it? 8,400. He's got three of them. The forts get 7,800 HP. <laughs> these guys get nearly 3,000 HP. <laughs> So toxic. Well, at least the recording, it's literally, look, the ju uh, the stuttering has stopped now. Finally, at like nearly half an hour into the game, we can actually uh, play nice and smoothly. Just pumping units and pumping units non-stop. He's on some farms now himself. 7k score in it. Oh my god. This, repair this bank, I beg. Looks like he's uh, still on four banks. No, he's on back up to five. He's built another one here. Outpost going down. This is the sort of stage of the game where you, um, you really want to start getting your uh, frontier text done. Yeah, look, he started repairing it. At least he's aware of it now. Oh my God, there's no way you can allow that to happen. But look, just constantly on the offense, like constantly pushing, just not giving him a second's moment to breathe. Finds a couple of villagers, but he's not gonna be able to kill that many. And look at, look at the resources. Oh man, it's so ridiculous. Cancha House is just spamming that out. He's got a card here as well. That allows him to uh, toggle to wood. So, you know, when he runs out of trees, you just put him on, on wood. No problem. Just literally units everywhere. And I hate to admit it. I hate admitting it against this guy, but he's good. He's good at the game. He's got his APM is insane. Um, just constantly everywhere. And it's just so infuriating to deal with. Carabiner, Reuter are in now. And uh, Bob and Joy are just about almost missing these villagers here. And that's going to do some work. He's on 82 villagers right now with three TCs. So he's getting losing villagers as well. Bob and Joy is on how many? 28 villagers! And yeah, the, the, scores, the score gap is going to start to close. And Dutch, he knows he needs to do something. He needs to do something and, and apply pressure to his opponent. 
even with that mortar, it just wasn't enough. And he's running out of food now as well. Two heavy cannons coming in. He's 8k score up. Uh, he's on 28 vils, but he's 8k score up. He's still not building any walls or anything like that. Just denying Dutch like this gold coin and berries and all sorts. Look, just taking stuff everywhere. Killing canters is not what you want to really be doing at this stage of the game. You want to be finding these mills, finding the infrastructure, killing the villagers. Ik voel me nu wat sterker. You almost need halberdiers and two cannon heavy cannons here just to deal with like raids and stuff and then like just use this to kind of start raiding and stuff but it's so difficult to like so difficult to handle all of it no guard status for the via halberdiers which is a shame because guard halberdiers are like one of the coolest looking units in the game. Okay, two heavy cannons are coming. Oh, Osteo's just got into the industrial age. Just wait for the guard techs to come in. Oh god, it's going to be toxic. But, but he's aged up with a fort by the looks of it as well. Two heavy cannons are in. Oh, god, everything's got so much HP. Even farms have over 3,000 HP. Why do farms have over 3,000 HP? Someone tell me. Claire. This as well. So sneaky. Nice, that tambo going down. Oh, that's for Ostia though. Oh my God. Where did he spawn all of these units from? Because why not indeed? Look, look at this. How does he... Oh, it's so infuriating. Such a, a frustrating sieve to deal with. Look, he's just adding in a load of stuff over here. It doesn't matter how much stuff he loses. Because it's just so efficient at trading. Look at this. These guys, 57 siege attack. 57 just taking it down his factory in seconds. Someone tell me how fair this Civ is. He can afford to just lose buildings because, uh, again, why not? Look, Hello. look, pike raids, pike raids. have 21 hand attack as well 21 nearly 300 hp and how much do they cost a hundred food and 25 wood Kind of forcing you to try and make his heavy, ca heavy cannons get some use, and he's just gonna lose them every time. Look at this remass. But but how is Bob and Joy still up in score? I don't understand the scoring in this game. I I honestly have no idea. He's on 33 villagers. He's just lost a factory. He's on five banks. And you could be on like seven or even nine by now. You go to go to South Africa. You can get up to 11, I believe. Just going huge amounts of Reuters. Champion Chimu runners coming in now.
89 vils. Yoruba. Up's coming in. Oh, food silos coming in as well. Why has he not shipped any of these? Why would you not ship that? Why? I don't know. Oh my god, he's even trying to sneak in some hurricanes to take down this factory as well. Uh, I don't know if going revolting to South Africa, I'm not sure if the South Africa deck has extra... Does the South Africa deck have extra uh, factory cards? Because if it does, that would be big brain. But I mean, I mean, going for Imperial War Wagons would be big brain as well. Okay, we've got Guard Hazards with 560 HP. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, look, he's trying to bait his MT. He knows he wants to take that factory down. It's going to be close now. Oh, my God. Look how much damage they do. It's so insane. 57. Just dive in. You've got to protect that factory. Definitely need to protect that factory. Half HP down already. And it's literally just a, just a handful of spoonfuls. Boom Spearmen. All this while this is going on, more raidings going on. Finally, some walls going down at 38 minutes. I'll allow it after 38 minutes, and I'll particularly allow it against this guy. I think it's a. Uh, I I do think it's important that you have heavy fortifications against this guy. So not only do you always need advanced artillery, you always need heavy fortifications versus this guy as well. Back up to 45 Vils, so he's almost max Vils, minus this card here, uh, which might be his next card. Uh, what else does he have? Uh, he has infantry attack, 1k wood could be, um, religious freedom probably for those extra banks. Oh no, no, that's not going to repair quick enough, Bob. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Not like this. Oh, just adding his Explorer in there with nearly 2k HP. Minutemen are just going to tickle these guys right now. He's trying to get some more walls up, but the second factory goes down. Oh. Just does, doesn't have a second moment to breathe. Just pikes, pikes, pikes. How are these guys so good? Why are these guys so good? It, it almost doesn't make sense. Like, you can't explain why these guys are so good. But they just are. It's like if a European tried to make this many pipes, it just wouldn't work. It just doesn't work. But for some reason, these guys, these things are so insane. This Bob Enjoy is one of the best players in the game. Yet he can't handle pure pipe raids right now. There isn't a unit he can make to deal with pure Bloom Spearmen. Tell me that this Civ isn't the best Civ in the game. Oh, it's Tabin. What you think uh, Bob and Joy is Tabin? It could be Dabin. But Dabin plays other Civs as well. This guy's literally only plays Dutch. Dub and dipping. Tab and dabbing. If it was Tabin, he would not continue to play after such a game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Giggs too. Yeah, maybe actually. Giggs is a good Dutch player. Could be Kevin. Could be Kevin. Oh, the, the ball's going down. Some, somehow walls get buffed as well with, I think it might be mon monumental architecture. 55 Vils, so he has shipped to the uh, Amsterdam. Doesn't have the Bank of Rotterdam. Fun fact, I've been to Amsterdam three or four times now. Nah, it's Opti. There's, nah, Bob and Joy is not Opti. Inca doesn't need to change in either direction. Inca needs to burn in hell where he belongs. The 
this sieve belongs in hell. This is why heavy fortifications are so important. Get those vortex. Get, get the towers out. Score somehow still in favor for Dutch. Um, he's got a lot of food. He desperately, yeah, he's suffering without those, without those two factories. I, I think he can get both factories back. Uh, with South Africa revolt, but I don't know if Bob Enjoyer is a, is a South Africa enjoyer. The, the only problem with going to South Africa at this stage of the game is that there's a very real possibility that it's going to go to uh, Imperial, and Imperial is just way better than South Africa. But I think he needs those factories back. I can't understand now why the Spanish fucked them up so badly. <laughs> Have you seen the meme? Have you seen the meme? Uh, there's a really funny meme. Um, you can no longer get factories back, you nobbo. Oh, really? Can you not? Okay. I thought... Uh, someone said that you can. I, I thought that they have the cards. I thought that they have extra cards. Or do... I, I swear South Africa has uh, the uh, like an extra... Um, maybe not, actually. Okay, now he's just mixing in Plume Spearmen and, and Bolus Warriors. Just just making everything. And like, Skirm Goon just isn't good enough here. Skirm Goon just doesn't cut it. Just does not cut the mustard. Because like, this late, it, late... Late game Inca literally breaks the game. There's still a gold mine at 43 minutes of the game. There's still two gold mines. Wow. There's still three gold mines. Look, this is how insane this sieve is. Dutch have not been able to fully eat all of these mines. Like, that's how scary the sieve is. South Africa has factories in the deck, but you can't resend them if you already send factories. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. I am the worst caster there is. Yeah, look, his canchers, his canchers are gathering 0. 0.72 wood. Somehow, Bob and Joy is doing it, though. Like, he's, he's, he's up in score still, even after losing both his factories. He's going to lose another bank here. Oh, it's so depressing. <laughs> and look at the walls going down. It's just getting more and more depressing. God, I need some Xanax after this game. Fuck that. I'm going to need a big fat one. Cigar, not cock. Boy, you want to make some jokes. Yeah, funny enough, Bob and Joy will actually run out of wood. Literally got... Oh, he's got a few trees left, but he hasn't got factories to get wood back. So when he's run out of trees, he literally <laughs> he won't be able to get any wood ever again. Kevin thinks this could be Giggs. Giggs has the skill to be a top player. He is a top player. So, it, you you know, Giggs is definitely a favourite, I think. I think it's Minimalt. Wow, American allies coming in. And this is actually a really good late game card because depending on what you uh, decide to tech into, um, uh, normally you tech into the Zabatex, I think. Oh my God, there's a huge villager right here. Uh, because the Zabatex have a, um, a really good like upgrade tech to them. Oh my God, all of those villagers are dying. These things have 57 siege and 21 hand attack. 1.2 fire rate. They have 1.2 fire rate for some reason. Because why not? Like, I, 
I don't even think Chimu Runners are the most OP unit that, that this Sith has. The Plume Spearman is the most OP unit this Sith has. Dutch is still up in score. Did he just did lose like 20 bills or so. 15 bills. I don't know how long this game goes on, but the time bar is actually like still like only two thirds. <laughs> this game might actually... I know that sometimes it's bugged, but um, the game could actually go on for a long time. <laughs> Andy saying, okay, good night. Hey, man, I don't blame you. Oh, my goodness me. Look at these layers of walls now as well. Oh, Dutch is still up in score. How? How is Dutch up in score? I would have quit a long time ago. No, it's just just constant remasters of pikemen. He just he can get away with just spamming pikemen. Like it, it doesn't matter how many walls you make against these things. They have 75 siege now. Where did that come from? 75 siege. Where the actual fuck did that come from? That might have been the the um, Zabatek uh, tech. I'm not sure where he put his embassy. Um, no, he went with the Akan by the looks of it. So it looks like he went with an Akan tech. Man, look, they just swing one siege and they're in. Oh, God. And for the first time, for the first time, almost in, in the entirety of the game, at least for like 40 minutes or half an hour, Osteo is actually up in score. More villagers going down. Uh, Dutch is on eight banks, though, to be fair. So he obviously got the ones from the church card uh, and the uh, Amsterdam card. Uh, it's just not going to be enough, though. He's, just, he's literally just playing runaround the whole game. He's literally just playing runaround. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Look, he's getting attacked. He, Dutch's units are trying to kill his units, but it doesn't matter. He can just, just siege down a TC like it's no fucking problem. It's no problem for Bush or Blair to see me now. Because like Shaggy said, it wasn't me. What a game. 49 minutes. Hallelujah. Um, the time bar was bugged. I did think it would be bugged this game, but what a stupid sieve. <laughs> what a stupid sieve. Where are all my treaty boys out? How how is how is this sieve not OP in treaty? Someone tell me that Inca is OP in treaty. Look at that. Two TC cards in age three. Um you've got pikemen that have uh 75 siege. Canchers that can produce 0.72 uh, wood. Um, an economy which is unbelievably difficult to punish. Monumental architecture in age three. What they get so many age four cards in age three. I genuinely feel sorry for Bob Enjoyer. <laughs> 